guitar, uh, screenwriter, filmmaker in training, kind of. So I went to a program called Connecticut School of Broadcasting where they teach you TV and radio and found that I really liked working with the equipment but they, it was a two month certification program which really only prepared you for general broadcast so my only options from there were to work for a news station or a radio station neither of which I saw working out for me and I wanted to work with more narrative structures anyway so I Google searched schools nearby, schools that I liked and um, ended up here at Burlington College Oh, from Connecticut, Southington, Connecticut, near Hartford County. It's a small little suburb area. I grew up with two sisters and my parents. Uh, my mom is a back doctor and my father is a minister. As everyone who's into heavy metal has found around the age of 14 to 17, I would say, when you arrive to this Mostly, uh, especially when your parents are religious, uh, especially when you are the son of a pastor who is uh, expected to uphold certain uh, pastoral familial things. So obviously that only made it worse uh, in terms of my relation to heavy metal. Because uh, as you know, the more you tell a kid not to do something, the more they love that thing. And this was my thing. <laughs> That's the nature of imperialism, like, in general. Yeah. Like, and just capitalism can't sustain itself unless yeah. we turn into a war economy, which is what we are. Yeah, exactly. And it created just, like... We tried to create another reality on top of our reality and it just is going to fall apart. It's all fabrication. Yeah. It all just needs to descend. I mean, because collapse is a natural part of rebuilding. Exactly. Ordering chaos. Yeah, ordering, ordering chaos. chaos. Ordering chaos. John and I met our freshman year of BC. And we were living in this shitty place called The Cottage. Ooh, ooh. And it was really gross in there. But I was really afraid of John at first because he had a beard and he smoked cigarettes and I like was 18 and didn't know anything. And then we sat on a bench for like two hours and talked about like paganism and anarchism and shit and conspiracy theories and we became friends. And we've lived with each other for three years now. We are definitely entering a time of chaos. Yeah, you can feel it energetically. I mean, you can even just analyze it too. That too, but yeah. I'm not going to do that because I'm a transpersonal psych student. I know, that's student. the difference, but that's <laughs> why it works great. Because both of our sides agree with each other. Yeah. That's why our friendship works. Yeah, I agree. You agree with Wicca, I agree with Levi. I, I'm not a Wiccan, stop that. I said you agree with Levica. I mean, Le <laughs> <laughs> you agree with Wicca, but I agree with Levi. Yeah, I don't agree with fucking Anton Levi. That's alright. I don't agree, like... I don't even agree with him, but I agree no, with him. Well, you should, I don't think you should ever, like, agree with someone 100%. No. Like, if you agree with someone 100%, you're just enslaving yourself to another master. Like, and that is one of the things that Levi says that I really <laughs> like. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm not enslaved to him. Because he also has shit about how he, like, he used to publish articles how he thought fascism was a great idea. And I don't think fascism is a great idea. I think it's a horrible idea. Yeah. I think the only great idea is to simply be... That's very zen of you. That is very zen of me. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big Buddha guy. I'm a big satanic anarchist Buddha guy. <laughs> <laughs>
could trace to my first metal album uh, would definitely be a Black Sabbath's Paranoid album. I was in seventh grade and my buddy snuck it to me on, uh, in the middle of our uh, church class on Sunday. My good friend Kyle, uh, he had a Black Sabbath album and told me I needed to hear it after we had been listening to ACDC for a few months. And so I listened to that and boom, just game changer. I was like, this music is the most insane music I've ever heard. From there, it's just, just get a bad rap a lot of times is like these anti-social like people and there's a lot of them sure but you know one of the things I always hear from people is this like they're like you know you look really scary you're a metalhead with all that stuff but then you start to talk to you and you're actually like really nice and I'm like yeah no shit everyone's really nice if you don't judge them based on what they are but uh generally when they start to talk to me they realize I'm just a person like them <laughs> 